What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Feral Fabrications. Today we're doing a wheel alignment in the shed. Yes, that's right, we're not going to the shop, we don't have time, but we are going to get a sweet wheel alignment on this car so we can get some great turn in when we're hussing around the track. Let's check it out, it's real simple. So here we are guys. You can see I've got some steel inch box section. This is two meters long and I've just got the center marked at one meter lined up with the center of the hub and also clamped in the center as well. So basically what we've done here is we've exaggerated angle of this wheel. This is what we're going to have a look at today. We're going to measure the distance between the front, measure the distance between the back, and then we're going to do some maths to figure out what degree co we have on this car for the turn-in. Okay guys, I've got this mapped out so we can work out what the measurements need to be to get a certain degrees of toe in on this car. I'm aiming for about 0.2 degrees toe in um, and so I just want to know how many millimetres difference that is between measuring the bits of steel at the front and measuring the bits of steel at the back and I just need to figure out what that is in degrees because that's normally what you set toe at not millimetres you know so all it is is some basic trig and I'll run you through it quickly we won't spend too long on it because it's a bit boring but I did just want to show you how easy it is to do all you need is a couple of straight bits of steel and some clamps to do this at home. Maybe you've got an old car and it hasn't been driving too good and you just want to do a quick check on the wheel alignment. Or even this might be something to do for your road car before you, maybe you've done something on the suspension and you want to take it down and get a real wheel alignment. But this even gets you in the ballpark just to take down to the shop. So here we go. Now you can see... These are the bits of steel, they're one meter long. That's my degrees of toe I want, and I want to set that at 0.2. I know that um, just from trig, there's some formulas here. This is the one we need. It's sine of our angle equals the opposite, which is the number we want, divided by the hypotenuse. That's the, the one with um, one meter long steel on there. So we just go a thousand times sine of 0.2 equals 3.5 millimeters. Now that's just half of the, the difference because when we come out the back here, because we're coming a meter out the back, we'll have 3.5 mils there as well. So the total difference is seven mil millimeters between the front and the rear measurements on that piece of steel. So let's go and take some measurements and we will get this thing aligned. Okay guys, I've got this dialed in, just one more adjustment to go. I thought I'd tune you in for the very last step of this because it's a little bit of trial and error. So here we are at the front, I've got my measuring stick, we'll just pop that on that bit of steel over there, measure down, try not to fall over, and you can see we're reading 17 20. Okay, so that's the front and the back. Just do the same thing. Just go through here. Got these nice and low so we can get straight under the car without hooking onto anything. Just hook onto that bit of steel there and see what that says. And that's reading 17 12. So, you see we're getting it pretty close, we're 10 mils difference, and what I've been finding is actually just one turn of the tie rod end, it's given me about 10 millimeters of adjustment, so I think one more turn on just one of the tie rods will give me about 10 millimeters difference, and that'll give me the slight toe in that I'm after, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll check out the results in a second. I've already cracked these loose, so you can just slide them out. One turn. Okay. 
So now we're at 1710 on the front. And just over 1720 on the back. Hope you enjoyed that uh, cheap and easy trick of doing a wheel alignment at home. Certainly great for any old car that might not be driving that nice these days. You can just chuck those bits of steel on and do a quick wheel alignment yourself and then you can even use the steel to build something afterwards. Ferrule fabrication, out.